Welcome back, returners and first-time listeners to the Sports Deli. Lav. Here we go. Oh, he's shutting her down, and he's... <coughs> Take two. 406, Steve Lavin. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Lavin has, has left the building. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 have, we got it on recording, though. I got, I got proof. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great appearance by Coach Lavin. We'll look forward to him in a few days. <laughs> None of us can hear him, Mike. You don't have to tap your headphones. Yeah, but he's talking. So. I don't know if he can hear us. Yeah. Looks like he's on an iPhone or an iPad. Yeah, he's, he's, on, on, an iPhone. he's on an iPhone. Oh. There we oh, go. Yeah, Coach. Fellas, yes. how are you? Good, Good to coach. see you, Lav. This how is are great. You? Really well, thank you. Just got back from a long hike. I'm in uh, Mill Valley. Oh, nice. The UCLA is just for you, Coach. I mean, it's it's, a, a, it's an absolutely a gratuitous uh, uh, rear end kissing background. I love it. I love it. We yeah. need props too. I got it. I have I have a little vino. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was considering lighting a cigar, but I wasn't sure. If we don't, we don't oh man, any, gonna, anything goes. Uh, you must have a thousand friends in your Rolodex, and there's probably more people you have to explain why they're not getting a call than you'd have to explain why they are. Yeah, good point, because uh, I was relatively an unknown when I became the head coach at UCLA, which had some real advantages, um, and I do worry about uh, mid-major basketball programs uh, and and programs uh, that don't have football, and I've learned more from my players than they learned from me, and what teachers and parents and coaches that are worth their salt are really after are the ones that influence my life. You know, they're trying to help you win at life and they're trying to instill the right virtues and values that'll sustain you beyond a game or a particular season or an outcome. For starters, my father was an English literature uh, philosophy teacher, had a love of language, uh, very similar to Coach Wooden. Uh, and uh, then in sports television, when I made the transition from UCLA to ESPN, uh, Brent Musburger, you know, mm -hmm. took me under his wing. And being nimble, and these are things Coach Wooden mm -hmm. talks about in his Pyramid of Success, is what uh, to be willing to change. Learn. Coach Wooden, the last time I visited him at 99 years old at his apartment in Encino, was in the midst of doing a deep dive on all world religions. And I thought that was so interesting. <laughs> Here he is, just short of his 100th birthday, and he said he was looking for the common threads, uh, mm. the golden rules that bring all these religions together. He said, well, that'll teach me to, to ask a multi-layered question because <laughs> you, so. every time in my mind, I'm thinking I want to, I'll, I'll follow up here. You bring something up. So, so do, do you watch your own stuff? So Brent and, Musburger yeah. never said during one of the commercial breaks, I can't work this guy, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Give me somebody else in here. So I, I was very fortunate. He, he, we, we, for some, we were so different. You know, yeah, he that. had uh, just a, a real interest in the numbers and he could weave it in uh, to broadcast uh, for those that, you know, enjoy sports betting, uh, you know, Badgers, Buckeyes, you know, <laughs> sitting on an eight, uh, sitting on a six, time out, we'll be right back, you know. You know I want to mark, mark it down yeah. at 1304, <laughs> so-and-so fouled out. Just, <laughs> just, just so you know. John is the guy you take to the all-star game who walks down the street and spots George Gervin from behind sitting at the local bar having a beer. So nice. He, that's that's his that's his thing. But we also can learn from our past. We want to look back long enough uh, to learn uh, both the good and the ugly. I think of, you know, Mike Krzyzewski, Roy Williams, Tom Izzo, um, and there's others, but Lute Olson was, you know, would have been one of those. Jim Calhoun, right? You, uh, you've, you've gone on the record, I think, recently as saying if the right job came along, is that is that fair? Fair categorization that you'd still be interested in coaching? Uh, you know, one of the the best piece of advice I ever got was I think my third year at ESPN, and uh, Brent in the middle of a broadcast asked for all my notes. And I thought he was kidding. It was during a commercial. <laughs> he said, "He said, give me your notes." I said, "I'm not giving you my notes." He's kind of protective about my notes. This or that, and then uh, Tiger or Jack. Oh, interesting. Now, is this is that alcohol? <laughs> are we talking? Are we talking Jack Daniels? Because then I got to know what Tiger is. Uh, Montana or Brady? 
There were like four things too at camp. When someone asks you, how are you doing? There's only four ways you can respond. It was like, fantastic, wonderful, two. <laughs> Coach, what's the station with Bill Walton working at the UCLA camp? <laughs> shoot it, shoot it, shoot it every time you get it. Is it true? Shoot it every time you get it. Was it true that the counselor spends four, four days consecutively telling the kids to pass and Bill Walton walks in and tells them it's complete BS. Only, you only get a scholarship if you shoot, just shoot the ball and then leaves the gym. Is there any truth yep. to that? And fast. Real quick, would, would you ever have expected Bill Walton to still have this following like he has become on, on I mean, he's re, you're talking about reinventing. He's reinventing. Right. It's unbelievable. Yeah. This young Just unique uh, individual. And uh, I love the stories that, you know, Coach Wooden would tell about Bill Walton. And Bill Walton still tells about Coach Wood. And uh, he keeps Coach Wooden's spirit alive. Uh, in a talk about yoga. Gordon and I both teach yoga. So Gordon or me as your yoga instructor. Oh, boy. Prejudice, but I'm in awe <laughs> of uh, LeBron James, and I find it comical when uh, anyone criticizes him, you know, or somehow critiques uh, or tries to build a case, you know, that that that, that uh, he's not legit. But it, Mike, it's important to clarify for Coach Lavin that this particular segment of the show was not mutually agreed upon by all of the co -hosts. He's gone rogue. Who yeah, gone he, rogue this is, this is, it was all coach, going so this well. Is, this is all Mike. <laughs> you have to edit, clip, do a lot of editing. We tried to talk him out of it, yeah, but is, we told him this was a bad idea. But yeah. right. All right, last question. Randy Fun or Pat Riley's hair? Anything well, the, and the final Anything thing, Coach, is, is you're not going to file stalking charges on Mike Hootner after this show, correct? <laughs> right, he will not be calling We, we, just, want clear, we just want clarity on that, So, because it could be down to two people being on the show. Persistence. Next it's persistence. I, I have to give uh, Mike credit because, you know, he was he was uh, persistent, but uh, you look at everything differently. Earlier that, uh, you know, at 50 years old as the head coach of St. John's, you know, how different your you know, looking at the world and how different your coaching in terms of your judgments, your choices, your decisions, as opposed to a 32 year old head coach at UCLA. The objective is the same to try and win big. Having cancer informs a different perspective. Being fired right, informs a different perspective moving forward. Losing your mother and father, uh, beginning to lose loved ones in your life informs a different perspective in terms of what's really important, uh, important. in terms of in terms of compassion in terms of priorities oh, no, it was where... a privilege for me and an honor and uh enjoyed the banter and love what you guys are doing uh in terms of the black lives matter movement and you know shining a light on a cause uh, that is so important and uh, at a time where people need to be having conversations about this and uh, rethinking uh, their own thinking and uh, doing some listening, which I think is so important, and wear our masks. Yeah, please wear our masks. Mask up. Mask up. All right, Thank Lav. you, Coach. All right, we'll talk guys. soon. All right. Really enjoyed it. Be well. Bye-bye. All right, you okay. too, Take brother. Take care. Much love. Take care. Likewise.